Mine Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. And the title of the video is Quant Token is not for you. Please remember, I am not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice and none of the information provided in this video should ever be taken as a signal to buy or to sell. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos and hit that like button. You'll be doing me an absolute massive favor and helping me out with the algorithm so other people can see this video. But first and foremost, we're going to look at CryptoQuant and look at the exchange reserves and some information that some of you may have seen or may not have seen. And as we can see, the exchange reserves is looking quite good. We are currently sitting at 1.393, which is a big dip from yesterday when we were just over that 1.4 million tokens. But if we go and have a look, we can see this trend. We are coming down. And as I previously pointed out, we have seen 1 million tokens, quant tokens, leave the exchanges in the last two years. But what I'm interested in is this. We are seeing this trend play out. At some point, hopefully, we're going to see the price rise and we're also going to see the tokens on exchanges dip and so as you can see back here, we've got this gap and we've got this gap and we've just fulfilled almost this head and shoulders that you can see just here on the price. So hopefully we should see some positive price action soon. Again, that doesn't bother me at this stage because there's lots and lots going on in the market at the moment with everything macroeconomics, with the economies, with crypto as a whole. But we are starting to see people get annoyed because of certain things, rightly so or wrongly so. I'll give you my opinion in a moment, but we see this from Lord Quantonian. Gilbert Verde in your community you built wants to talk, I think. It's been a while, especially from unprovoked participation to clear some air on things as usual. Come back or tell us why you aren't around like back in the day, at least so we know. Everyone understands the vision, etc. Everyone understands the scope and importance. Like it or not, you have a public token. If it's a utility token, release an updated paper accordingly. Do something to help us out with educating people who are interested in the quant network and Overledger as a platform. No one is asking for baseless hype, just transparency on basic topics and maybe even a casual presence again. We don't ask for much. He's been here since 2018, so I'd encourage a warm response. Please, no fud in replies. Thanks. Let's be adults today. Now, this brings us to a question. With regards to the quant token, we've got to remember that the quant network is a private entity. It is a limited company that has bolstered the use of crypto as part of its assets. But if we see here, we also see um, crypto nerd Reply, as a quant ICO participant since 2018, I 100% agree with the below tweet. Even the great top 20 projects working massively on institutional end do speak and provide clarity on confusion to their community. Do it if you seriously want quant, quant network to succeed, which again, it makes sense, but I don't believe, and I've always known this from the very start, that quant token is a different asset to having shares in a business where they do update. Holder of shares will have an equity state within the business. Quant tokens are not an equity state within the business. Now, I agree with Montage here. Gilbert told us in the past that Quant isn't aiming on the crypto market. He doesn't owe you anything. CBDCs are coming and we need a network to connect them all. Quant is the best at the moment. And I absolutely agree with this. Now, what people need to understand is the difference between crypto and stocks. Now, if we look here, the key differences and similarities, if we look at the asset of a stock, represent ownership in the company, where crypto assets are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography. Now, the, the main one here is the value for stocks is tied to the financial performance of the company, whereas cryptocurrencies is driven by market speculation and demand and supply. If we look here, the concept and underlying technology Stocks and cryptocurrencies at their core represent two distinctly different concepts. 
stock represent equity in company as i've just said a claim on part of the company's assets and earnings they're deeply entrenched in our financial system and connected to the real world tangible business activities whereas cryptocurrencies on the other hand are much more recent innovation they are digital assets or virtual currencies encrypted for security and leverage blockchain technology a decentralized ledger system that validates records and transactions each cryptocurrency serves a purpose within its native ecosystem whether it's a medium of exchange store of value or a utility token and in this case for quant it's a utility token and what people need to understand is that gilbert doesn't have to give us any updates at all i mean the team do drop out news as and when via their um linkedin i think often what we find with twitter is so toxic that if any information is released by the team or even gilbert it stopped the use of people being able to post comments within the replies why we have to ask the question is it too toxic and does it actually bring down does it cause issues within the private side of the business so we do need to ask these questions now if we look over here i saw this on reddit people are asking these questions quant overledger is great but what's the point of the qnt token now this does relate to it so quant would still be able to thrive as a blockchain company but can easily put their qnt token out of its only use case it seems like they have tried making a use case for a token which really isn't needed and will just be a hassle for developers using Quant Overledger. I believe the Quant Overledger is very useful and the company will thrive, but I don't see good use for QNT token long term, causing it to go up and Quant succeeds as a company, seeing as Quant could remove the need for QNT token at any time. I'd love to hear everyone's response. Now, this question is a bit silly because obviously doesn't understand the technology behind the QNT token and what it actually does. Now, if we look, we see some absolute blinding replies. He says here, well, those useless tokens, unlike stock, actually sit on the asset side of Quant's balance sheet. If a public company sells stock, for example, it's on the liabilities of the stakeholder, equity side of the balance sheet. So Quant holds these tokens, their own tokens from IPO as assets, not liabilities or shareholder equity. So they are incentivized when the value of the token increases because it increases their asset size and the overall company's valuation. Therefore, Quant would be taking extreme massive and crippling hit to its assets if the token went away which they won't overledger doesn't work without qnt token either i just explained why quant has vested interest in keeping it that way let's put this convo to rest already now another explanation here the quant tokens are key to overledger akin to iphones are the keys to app store you literally cannot have access to overledger without acquiring the token directly or indirectly from quant they have made everything accessible by having credit model available to enterprises they don't need a tier three employee handing a million dollar wallet and fumble on gas fees licenses are bought with fear and are converted to tokens back end and only reflected as credits to users literally can't get any simpler they have crushed the ux and enable for easy adoption now i thought those were some very very concise replies to the original poster now what people i feel need to understand is that we are invested in a token which is cryptocurrency we are not invested in shares in the asset in the private company so to be honest you know whether i hear any news on quant or not yes of course it would be nice just to get the odd tweet from gilbert verdian but i don't think we're going to get much more than that we're buying into the the technology that it's not part of the actual private business other than we know that Quant owns a huge amount of its own tokens from the IPO and acts as an asset for the company. So they'll have no reason to sell those assets at large amounts as it would reduce the size of the private business as it would offload those assets. Part of the sentiment at the moment, people are getting fatigued. People are getting to the point where they are questioning whether or not they should buy more or sell the token. So here's a question I'd like to ask you. Are you bothered that Gilbert Verdi and the team don't supply information via Twitter? Now, I know I follow them on LinkedIn and they do provide, the team provide updates on particular projects or particular elements of the project that they are doing. Now, I hear a lot about whether or not staking is going to come in as well. Now, when's it going to happen? 
Now, again, I think what we're waiting for is regulation and standards to come in before we can see gateways ever being contemplated at this stage. Until that happens, we're not going to see gateways. Now, again, that's time and patience. We are at the very start, very, very early, I believe, before we see any of those type of utilities come within the quant network. But we have to be patient. Me personally, I do my research. I look, I believe in the project. And I manage to provide a video pretty much every day based on information that I see. And at some point, I'm hopeful that we'll see some positive action in the future. But I think lots of people want to see movement now rather than being patient even if you have held this token since 2018 because if you were invested in stocks it'd be slow and steady and i think this is where we're at with quant i think we're going to see slow and steady and i think this was always going to be a 10-year process so from 2018 up until 2028 2030 and this is why i'm a long-term holder i let things cook i let them slowly slow boil rather than just looking for the usual crypto mindset where everything's got to run really quickly. So there you go, guys. Put in the comments what you think. But remember, I'm here for the long term. I'm not bothered about short term action. I'm waiting. I'm patient. I have other coins for short term positions, not quant. That's the way I see it. Remembering none of this is financial advice. You always have to do your own research. Remember, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All the best and I'll catch you later.